Welcome back to the Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are all doing good. In the last episode, we took on Lenora and beat her to get our second gym badge of the Nuzlocke. Uh, then we went into Pinwheel Forest, which is where we are now, and we're trying to get the Dragon School back from Team Plasma that they stole from the museum. Uh, so I guess we'll just continue with fighting all the grunts. Um, by the way, if you guys haven't seen, uh, Taylor did evolve off screen into a Swellow. So we now have a shiny Swellow on the team, which is really good. Really excited about that. And I also added Misty, the Staryu, to the team. I was going to add uh, Zubat or um, what's it called? Hoot Hoot. Uh, but I was like, that's like three flying types on the team. I would rather have two water types or two grass types than um, three flying types. So I had a choice at pet a little too, but I decided to take Staryu. Um, I feel like this thing is okay, it's not the best, but I mean, we'll take it. 40 special attack is really good. Um, I need a better water move though. Water gun is not going to do. Uh, we're getting a little bit past early game now and water gun is just not, not doing it for me. Water gun is just too weak. So you made it this far, I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. I mean, where can they run to? I mean, you got your corner, man. I don't know what, I don't know how they're going to run away. You got three Pokemon, you got Stunky, okay. That's fine. You got Lettuce, I mean, that's pretty much not fine. Poison type against Grass type. Alright, let's switch out. Um, who are we going to? Let's go to Misty. Let's use Misty. Misty's level 21. I didn't level up Misty that much um, because I didn't really feel like it. I just felt like level 21 was good enough. Hey, you Sucker Punch, so worked out in the long run. Alright, how much will a Water Gun do? That's actually decent damage. I'll take that. I'll take that. Smoke screen us, that's okay. Water gun has 100% accuracy, so it's not gonna miss all the time. There we go. All right, one more should do it. Fury swipes, should be fun. Should be fun. Please stop. Jesus, critical hit. And he gets five times? Relax, dude. All right, this next water, oh my goodness. Ooh, living on seven, and of course we missed the water gun. Oh wait, did I not buy potions? I'm an idiot, dude. How do I not buy potions? It's like a classic move now. All right, so we have to switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Geyser. Just straight up scald this thing. All right, I guess we're playing with no potions right now. I mean, after this battle, I'll probably run back and get some. We have to go through all that grass again, that's gonna suck. Oh my god. I, okay, I guess we have to do it. I guess we have to. Scald it up. There we go, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, Mighty Ian is next. We'll just go out to Fists. Go out to Fists and wake up slap this thing. I'm pretty sure Fists also learned Chip Away off screen too, so. That was a big upgrade from Focus Energy. I mean, I could have deleted Low Kick, but I decided to take away Focus Energy. Fire Fang, ooh, are you Strong Jaw? Probably, you got the flinch, are you kidding me? Don't burn me, please. Ice Fang, yikes. All right, I don't think you live a wake up slap. Oh, you live on one, of course. Fist can just never kill with a one shot. Like he always has to fucking leave him on one HP. He did it during the Lenora battle twice. He just could not one shot. All right, there we go. Glameow's last. I kind of need Fist for the Glameow, but we could swap out. Uh, let's go back on to Geyser. Get Geyser some more experience. I, I want Geyser to be with the rest of the party. I mean, I should say the same for Misty, but Misty just joined the team. That, that's an exception. Like she's not really a part of the team yet. Like you have to be on the team for a couple episodes for me to like actually start to level you up and like be with the team all right can we, can we please wake up geyser can we can we please wake up please please next turn because i don't have any potions i can't heal you oh my god okay we have to swap out that's okay um we'll go out to trash our plus attack Firo. and just straight up aerial ace this thing all right, nothing crazy, thank you. I think the Mighty Ina was probably the biggest threat, to be honest. Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Fire Fang, with Strong Jaw, too. Oh my god, absolute one-shot. Jesus Christ, trash. 
monster. Alright, so now let's quickly go back. Alright, I don't know what the fuck he said. I didn't read all that. But let's go back and heal up. And we'll also get some potions because I'm a dumbass. And I literally had time. I went all the way back to the Pokemon Center, healed up, when there's literally like a nurse um, right outside of the entrance to here. You guys definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, I was literally running back there the entire time when I literally could have gone here. Hold on, I'll show you guys in a second. I'm trying to avoid all this grass. I could have gone right here to this nurse right here and healed my Pokemon. But no, every time I was training in the forest right here and I would kept running back all the way to the Pokemon Center every single time. It was tragic. It was absolutely tragic. Now that I realize that, I'm like, oh my god, I could have saved some more time. Um, we can get 10, we can get 10 super potions. I feel like that's a chill number. And then we can get a couple of regular potions. Or actually, maybe not. We, we, we're, we're going up to the third gym. I feel like we don't need uh, regular, regular potions anymore. I mean, I'm going to be buying a lot of those soda pops and lemonades that are going to be in Castelia City. For sure. Those are like so overpowered for that point in the game. And plus they're not that, they're not as expensive as like super potions, so it's literally a gift from God. Alright, let's maneuver our way. So we try not so so we try to get the least amount of encounters as possible. Alright, we're chilling. The bell sprout. To be honest, I would have loved a bell sprout. Absolutely. Bell sprout's a sick Pokemon. Love Victory Bell. Alright, let's keep going. Got an item right here. Prism Scout. Ooh! That's an item to evolve. One of my favorite po my favorite Pokemon. My mascot, which is Milotic. I love Milotic. Um, is there going to be a trainer that pops out of one of these? Yes, there is. Okay. Blend into the wilderness and talk to Pokemon with your heart. That is a ranger. Alright, man. I guess so. Let's see what you got. Bro, why are the Rangers teams just always so scary? Vigoroth. Like, this man has a Vigoroth. Why? Alright, I think I'm gonna take this thing down with Lettuce. I was thinking about swapping to Fist right now, but I don't know. I feel like Lettuce is fine. I'm gonna leave Tornado this thing. Don't have any, like, bullshit moves like Fire Punch. Night Slash. Okay, that's okay. High critical hit ratio move, though. So that's kind of scary. But I feel like Leave Tornado should just take this thing out. Alright, one more should do it. I'll just cut, actually. I'll use cut. Thank god he didn't crit me. Alright, one down. Got two more Pokemon to go. What else are you gonna have? Motham. Okay. Um, we could swap out into... Mm, let's go to Trash. I was thinking about Trash or Skylar. It's, like, such a tough decision because... Skylar's a shiny. I love looking at shiny Swallow. But Trash is just so good. Plus attack Fero. I mean, I, I brag about him every episode that he's plus attack. Just love him, man. Absolute one shot. Alright, this Ranger team this Ranger team wasn't that bad. Vigoroth was kind of scary, but uh, Lettuce was able to take it down, no problem. Oh, and last is a church wig. Okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Let's take it out with an aerial ace. Ooh, Ooh Turtwig has Sturdy in this game? That's actually sick. Okay. I did not know that. I see you, Turtwig. I did not know that, dude. That's actually sick. I'm sure you can fully utilize this Petra Berry. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. If you blend to the wilderness too well, you won't be noticed by Pokemon, let alone by people. That is a problem. Alright, man. Whatever you say. Um, can we get that item over there? Lots of grass. Whole lots of grass here. Leave me alone. Absolutely leave me alone. Of course, every two steps is a goddamn encounter. I should have bought repels while I was there. I don't know why I didn't. That was another rookie mistake by me. I just want to see what's over here, because you never know what you might find. Uh, it could be valuable items that could help your Pokemon win certain battles. Who knows? Team 86 Grass Knot, look at that. Teach that to uh, Servine, maybe. Or Petalil. I mean, Grass Knot is only, it only works like with heavy water type Pokemon, like the Barrel or Seismitoad, it would definitely help for Seismitoad. Seismitoad's a big ass dude. 
you get annihilated by grass knot. Like only for like heavy water type Pokemon. Swampert. I mean, you can annihilate a lot of water type Pokemon. And that's probably what it's for. Uh, a counter. Ooh. How are you supposed to get over there? Because there's no stair stairway over there. I guess maybe we have to have like an HM. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna guess that's the case. So I guess we just have to keep going forward. But I'm going to heal up before the next current battle because I don't want to get smacked at low HP. Oh no, this is the end. Okay. I don't think we battle this guy, do we? A pursuer, a kid like you, beat some of us. That can't be helped, but I'll take you on. Okay, so we do have to battle this last guy. Alright, thank god I healed them. Alright, then I think they give the skull back and we can go to Castelia City and go on one of my favorite bridges of all time, Skyro Bridge. If you guys don't like the Skyro Bridge music, leave my channel. I'm kidding, but still, you don't have to enjoy it, but bro, it's just such a peaceful tune. Like, I don't know how anyone could not enjoy, like, could not enjoy that. Like, that's insane if you don't enjoy the Skyro Bridge music. It's just so peaceful up there. Um... Gold, that's kind of scary. I don't know what I should go into here. Maybe Skylar? Probably. He's going to use a flying type move, definitely. Right, I'm going to go to Skylar. I feel like Skylar can handle this thing the best. Alright. Please do not do anything crazy to my shiny Confuse Ray. Okay, that's fine. You could use Confuse Ray. I wish there was like a thing you could buy at the Pokemart for healing confusion. That would be such a bless. Um, I'm gonna e-speed it. Fuck it. Let's e-speed. Tough. Beautiful damage. Okay. And he missed the hypnosis. Nice. Good dodge. Um, fuck it. We'll e-speed again. We'll e-speed again. E-speed is just such a great upgrade from quick attack. I, as soon as I saw e-speed, I immediately deleted quick attack as fast as possible. Such a good move. And Les is level 25 now. Nice. Scraggy is next. We just stay in. What's Scraggy gonna have? What would Scraggy have for Swallow? Oh, we're still confused. Shit. Oh, no. Nothing. No, don't have Ice Punch. Headbutt. Okay. I'm kind of confused on why he, uh, he sent out Scraggy. I thought he would have Ice Punch or something, but he used Headbutt for some reason. I don't know what that play was right there. Maybe he has like, he has, like nothing else. He has Beedrill next. Maybe he had like nothing for flying types. That's tragic. Tragic. We attack should one shot you. Beautiful. Let's go, Skylar. Level 24 too. Damn, Beedrill gives a lot of experience. Holy shit. And Carnivine is last. Interesting. That's an interesting team. Carnivine? Damn. Shit. I don't think we can tackle one shot you. Yeah, no, you're living the red. Sweet scent? That's amazing, man. <laughs> Didn't even try to attack me, you just went for sweet scent. Oh my god. Alright, so that was an easy battle. Just absolutely swept with Skylar. Beautiful. Skylar's gonna go to level 25 too. Nice. Gonna learn anything? No no new moves. Plasma, if this keeps up, we won't save Pokemon. I don't, I don't know how they're I don't know how they think stealing people's Pokemon is saving them. Fine, take your stupid skull. Thanks, man. Thank you. Got the dragon skull back. So the dream our king had, the dream we we had won't come true. Oh. I forgot what this dude's name was. Oh, his name's Corn. <laughs> Damn, imagine like just like have having like a council meeting. And like, how would nobody laugh when they say like, yo, Gorm? Like, bro, what kind of name is that? Game Freak, what were you thinking when you named this man Gorm? I don't know, man. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Damn, he called him a subject. He's not even a real person. Gorm of the Seven Sages. I'm mortified that the skull which we went to so much trouble to obtain was stolen from us so easily. True. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon School. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. It's literally like a Dragonite, I'm pretty sure. 
It looks like a Dragonite skull, but we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, what up, Berg? Berg finally decided to show up. Oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Damn, Berg should become a rapper. That was an interesting bar. Shit. Maybe he did that on purpose. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Damn, Lenora sped over here. She's got fucking legs. Holy shit. She should be in the Olympics. Mystic Berg. The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy a big, the big boss? Not exactly. Gets is the big boss. He's one of the big bosses. I'm one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Gets is another of the team seven sages who will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven, seven sages have ordered their com compatriots, compatriots to take the Pokemon with full force. Damn, this man is speaking in medieval times. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quickly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Just so absolutely ruthless, just like, take, just take that shit. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. Damn, okay, and they're gone. Black screen. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? I like how there's like no way out. Like, like, like think about this. The only way we c they can go out is us like watching them. Like, as you can see on the right side where Berg is, that's the only way out of here. And somehow we couldn't see them get away. Like, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The logic is just so messed up. Hmm. We got back the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well now, <laughs> well now, well. That's a great sentence. I'll be waiting for, you ch for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Alright, we'll, we'll catch you later, Berg. We'll see you in another episode. Mystic, you're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? There we go. Gave it right back. Mystic, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Moonstones, okay. I mean, if we ever get, like, Mana, I think. I think Mana evolves with the Moonstone. Uh, if we ever get, like, Nidorina, Nidorino, Moonstone, Nido King, Nido Queen. Look at that. It said Moonstones, plural. Okay, so maybe we got, like, three. These are Moonstones. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Alright, see you later, Lenora. Alright, so now that that's done, we can go on to Skyro Bridge. What's this? King's Rocks. Ooh. A little slow bro action? Politoed? I want a slow poke so bad, dude. I want I, I miss my David. And guys, just, just look at this. This, this is incredible. This view, f for, a, for a Nintendo DS video game, this view is incredible. This is one of the best views you can find in any video game. Look at this. Incredible. Look at that. Amazing. Just appreciate that real quick. And now we're about to hear the best music ever. Oh my goodness. This, this was my jam back in the day. I loved listening to this music. Got all the trucks too. Like, bro, this bridge... Whew, so much nostalgia on this bridge. My goodness. My good. I definitely have to get a thumbnail of the gate just before the bridge. Because, bro, that sight is just amazing. The night sky and then the bridge in the background. Got a ship passing underneath. Like, bro, it's just, it's just so beautiful and peaceful. Like, how can you not hate this? I mean, how could, how could you hate this? My bad. I didn't mean to say it like that. Shit. All right, did I say that right? I don't know. It's very late right now. It's like 2 a.m. And I just decided to film some Pokemon because I was bored and I have nothing else to do. So I was like, might as well film some Pokemon, man. Have fun with it. I feel like playing some Pokemon right now. Alright, so here we are, Castelia City. Um, there is a bunch of stuff that we could do. We could go to Route 4 
and get an encounter. There's like a tower where we can do a bunch of battles. Oh wait, I forgot about this person. Oh shit. Want to recover Pokemon? Oh sorry. Do you know Geonet? Yeah, we do know Geonet. Oh, you know Geonet. Great, great. This is even greater. Let me tell you. Okay, even though we say that we know where it is, she still is like, yeah, I'll tell you all about it. She only said it one sentence though, so we're not gonna say anything. Let's heal our Pokemon real quick. Now there are a couple places we could go, I'm pretty sure, but I just want to talk to everybody in this Pokemon Center really quick. Um, oh shit. Oh, he asked me how many people I traded with. I was like, I was so confused at what I was talking to him about. Um, you give me nothing. Your favorite is Servine. Sure. Servine is my favorite member on the team right now, if you guys didn't know. Comment down below what team member is your favorite. Um... Let's go into here first. Let's see what's down here. You got this guy who's looking out at the water. Stick up your thumbs and curl in your fingers. This is a thumbs up pose. That means okay. In some places, it also means money. Okay. What up, scientist dude? There are many Pokemon that evolve with special evolutionary stones. Tell me which one you like most. Oh, this is like the Shinakri where, um, I guess this guy's gonna even be a leaf, fire, or water stone. Do you give me more than one? Because if you give me more than one, I can evolve both my Pampor and my Staryu. I'm gonna choose Water Stone, definitely. All right, so it's water, yes. Water, you might find these Water Stones useful. We got multiple, let's go. So we can have Starmie and Simapore on the same team. That's beast, let's go. That's beast, all right. Yes, we know, thank you for the, thank you for the stones, my brother. You don't have to tell me everything else i just need the stones that's literally all i need all right let's check more of these docks because we got the water stones from that guy all right there's just some big ass boat here i don't think there's anything else over there um anything down here what is down here just a little walking pose there's a couple, there's a lot of buildings to go into as well um let's just go down all the little places here it's in here oh that's right we got the uh, ice cream shop right here too long ass line that's okay we'll go all the way down because there is one thing i do want to do and that's get my uh route four encounter Ooh, here are the vending machines how much are these soda pops 300 that's amazing that's amazing 50 points of hp for 300 super potions are like 700 and they, and they only give uh, 50 points of HP, which is so stupid. Absolutely so stupid. Uh, but let's go to Route 4, because we can get our encounter right now in the sand here. So what I'm praying for is a sand dial. I, I mean, I know you can get sand dial, Darabuka. Um, what else can you get here? Shit, I forgot. But I'm really hoping for Sand Isle. I love Crooked Isle, so praying for Sand Isle. What are we gonna get? Come on, give me an encounter. Please, I am running around in the sand. Whenever I don't want to get an encounter, I get encounters. When I want to get an encounter, I can't. And it's a Deramuka. Okay, so that's okay, actually, because we don't have a fire type. We actually don't have a fire type. And that, this will actually be really helpful uh, for Berg. So I'll actually take this. But I do want to switch out just in case he does use a fire type move on me. So I'm going to go out to Misty here. And I'm just going to use Water Gun. Because I'm pretty sure this thing can live at least one Water Gun. Fire Fang, that's fine. Oh my lord. Um, oh, okay. Um. Shit, that was resisted. I mean, wait, aren't we minus defense? I think we're minus defense on... That star you. So that's probably why. Also, isn't Daramuka like really strong? Maybe, I don't know. I might go out and low kick this thing. God, this thing's only level 20. Jesus, I need this thing on my team. Damn, that does so much damage. What the fuck, dude? I have to use a potion already. Shit, I don't want to lose fists. Please don't get a crit. Facade. Okay, he doesn't have a status condition. So, this is a lot of damage. Shit, dude. 
Alright, I'm gonna low kick him once. Maybe I should use chip away. Okay, keep using facade. That's fine. We'll low kick you. Oh, that was so close. I thought he was gonna go down to that. Alright, now I'm gonna use another potion. Use another potion, and then we'll throw a Pokeball at him. Nice. Keep using Facade, please. Do not use Fire Fang. I cannot take Fire Fangs. Jesus. Alright. Stay in the ball. Because if you break out and use Fire Fang, that would be really bad. So I'm gonna need you to stay in the ball, please. Two. Three. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, so a male Derenbach... Derimaka? Is that how you say it? I have no idea. Uh, what is a good nickname for Derimuka? What's a, what's a good nickname? Let's think about this. Hmm... You know, I guess we'll give this thing a generic fire type nickname. We'll name this thing Blaze. I guess we'll name this thing Blaze. You know what? Actually, I have a better nickname for this thing. We'll name this thing Hot Pocket. I feel like Hot Pocket's a great nickname. If it fits. Hopefully it fits. I'll be upset if it doesn't. Alright. I think it does. Just fits. Jesus. Let's go. Alright, Hot Pocket, let's go, dude. Welcome to the squad. What is this? Skull Fossil? Oh, damn, okay. I can actually go back to the museum and turn that into a Pokemon. Let's go, we got a Skull Fossil. Okay, okay. Shit, what's down here? Got some fishermen. No items, but damn, okay. Hold up, let me, let me check this out. I did not- I did not expect a skull fossil to be in the sand, Jesus. I don't think I revived any fossils in this game. That is a skull fossil. Okay. Alright, so I think that is Cranidos. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, if, I, if I'm correct on my fossils. And then we got- ooh. Isn't that the one for Archon? Oh, That's amazing. We got a plume fossil. That's sick, dude. Which one's this? Cover fossil. Are all the fossils in this area? Bro, I wish I knew that when I played Blaze Black. I'm actually so upset I didn't know that. Bro, we got fossils for days. Cacneo was here, too. I mean, we already have a couple of grass types, so... I mean, Cacneo would have, wouldn't have been the best. I, I would have taken Dermaka over him any day. Shit, I really don't know what this worker's guy's level is going to be like. So you know what? Maybe maybe we'll save maybe, maybe we'll save the rest of this desert for when we can actually explore it. Oh wait, isn't there supposed to be like a mana buzz here at like a certain time of the day? Oh wait, I think it's after you beat the Elite Four though. I think it's only after you beat the Elite Four the mana buzz shows up there. Uh, but that was a cool encounter. Elgem was here too. Damn, I kind of miss Wong. This reminded me of the Psychic type. Oh my God, I miss Wong, dude. Can't believe he went down to retaliate. So saddening. So saddening. Alright, so there's no other items over here except for the fossils. So I guess we'll go back. See what else is in Castilla City for us to look at. I, mean, I, don't think there's, I don't think there's anything else. I think we just have to go to the gym and then do that event with uh, Charon. And then see what Team Plasma is up to. Right down here, there's a guy dancing. There's a lot of things you can do alone. There are more things two people can do. There are even more things three people can do. That's right, I think what's missing from my dance is company. Shit, he's trying to find his dancers. That scared the fuck out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, it's 2 a.m. right now, and I just heard that fucking sound effect, bro. That scared the fuck out of me. I jumped. Where did I put those sunglasses? Ooh, we're getting the black glasses? I remember this, dude. Oh, I found them. You really got to have more light to see your way by. I, I don't know why I couldn't read that. Take this, it'll help you see in dark places. Oh, Flash! He gives me Flash. I thought he gave me the black glasses. But thanks, I guess so. 
If you use the move flash, the accuracy of the opponent's moves go down. When you use it twice, the rate, get, the rate to get hit by move will be about half, because it means more light. Preach. Preach, my brother. What's in here? Cafe Sonata. What is in here? Oh, it makes a little ringing so sound, too. What's up, dude? I, you look like the guy's twin outside. When I listen to his guitar, it reminds me of leaving home for the first time and the tears of farewell my mother cried. Damn, dude, I'm sorry. What do you gotta say, businessman? After time day work, this cafe is a perfect spot to let your mind relax. Cool. What do you gotta say? Beautiful melody that makes people happy, a sad melody that makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies. Cool, man. Everyone loves some music, especially at a cafe or like a club or a bar. Amazing. Love listening to music. Um, did we check out down here? I know the bat, the the building to my right was like a battle building. You battle a bunch of people. Both Pokemon and people will meet their des destined partner someday. I believe it because my sister, who got married, said so. Okay, where, where's this boat going to? People are quite different def depending on where they live. It's a bit surprising that rules and ways of thinking are different just because the places we live are different. That was like a tongue-tying... That was just Jesus Christ, man. What was that? What was that? Alright. Um, what was this building again? Passerby Analytics HQ. Okay. Um, there's another dock down here. What's over here? Got this dude. It's a small compared to a luxury liner, but the size of a ship doesn't change the feeling of adventure when you're out on the open sea. Cool, man. Cool. What do you guys gotta say? Strength is the size of the body, size of the heart, cool, Pokemon great, yup. Alright, cool, so this is Castilia City, um, is there anything else to do except for the gym thing? Alright, I guess not. Alright, so since we've been recording for about 32 minutes, um, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. We did get some great encounters, and we also got a lot of fossils, so I'll definitely recover those off screen and then show you guys what I got next episode. Uh, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. The playlist for this series is in the description below, so go click on that link. It'll bring you to the playlist. Um, and like always, have yourselves a great day. You're always loved. Peace.